Hello everyone, I recently experimented with the Typeflow Spline Operator. So today I decided to give you a little tutorial on some effects that can be created quite easily. We will see how to play with the surface force, the limiter, and the surface test to create this cool effect. Let's go. Okay, so first I will create a sphere that will be uh, my base mesh and a Typeflow setup. Open editor and add a growth. Mm, 2000 for the total and 70 for the end, I think. Okay. Now I will add a position object, so position object here, and pick the sphere. We can deselect the sphere and we can see the particular generated on my sphere. I can now add a force, so force, and select turbulence and strength to one. Okay. The force affects all the particles. We will now add a shape, so here, shape. Go to display, select geometry to see the shape in the viewport. Go back to shape, go to 3D and select the sphere. We can also um, change the scale if you want. Okay, perfect. Now what we want to do is to create the spline, so spline path. Create new. And now we have spline created by the movement of our particles. If you don't see the spline in the viewport like me, just go to tie spline, tie spline again here, and enable in viewport. You can also change the thickness if you want. Okay. I have spline, but I don't like uh, the pattern. I want more curve, so I will add a slow operator. So here, slow operator and just increase the velocity. I think it's better. Let's see, zoom in. Okay, good, nice curl, but um, the speed is really low, so we'll add a speed, speed, and uh, go to timing, timing here, and select continuous. We'll now go to direction and select discretize. I will uh, explain to you uh, later why we use discretize, but for the moment, just change the angle step to one. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, speed is really better, but um, if you don't like the pattern you have, you can go back to force and just play with the setting. Play with the scale, frequency, turbulence, it's really uh, well as you want. Just try by yourself. Okay, I think this pattern is cool. So now I will show you uh, how the limiter works. So we will create a limiter. Limiter uh, contain all your particles spline in the X, Y, Z axis. I can just select limit position and uh, maybe change the Z like this. And yeah, it's like I have a plane, but I don't have the collision problem that I could have if I use a collision operator. I can change uh, the Y too if I want. Yeah, it works really, really good. Okay, it's good. Uh, you can play with the limit scale, with, with the limit velocity, we'll maybe, maybe limit velocity, we'll try. So activate and just change the Z axis. And as you can see, it changed the pattern of your spline and you have in the Z axis, really cool. A really cool smooth effect, pretty cool. Okay, now I just uh, deselect the limiter and I will uh, show you another thing, great thing to do. I just select my uh, sphere and I create another one bigger. And what I want to do is to constrain my uh, particle inside the sphere. So I will create a surface test operator and I will pick my new sphere here. Okay, I will go here and go to surface test and select volume outside. And I will add a delete. What I want to do is just delete all the volume, all the particle outside uh, the volume of my uh, sphere. And it's rock. It's really great, really cool effect. As you can see, all the volume outside the sphere is deleted. You can play with the scale, with the force to have really different results. It's really great if you want uh, to uh, create life inside, uh, inside the shape. Okay, now deselect limiter, the surface test, go back to limiter. I just want to keep 
my uh, Z axis for the limiter to have a plane. And I will show you another fine target. So I will create a fine target. And I already have a, a shape, a sphere created here. And if I select the sphere, you can see the particular attract to the sphere. Fine target is really cool to create this effect. You can also play with the velocity if you want to keep more um, curl effect. Just play with the velocity, with the force. Just try this setting. Uh, it's just to show you how the find uh, target works and really cool if you want to uh, tell to your particle to follow an object. Okay, don't need, don't need the surface test, don't need the limiter. I will now show you why we select before the discretize because if I change the angle step, maybe 45, I have really different pattern. Yeah, really cool pattern, maybe... Uh, Maybe a computer circuit pattern. I can uh, change the frequency in the in the force to have different pattern too. It's really cool. I can go back to the speed, change the angle step, and now you have like a pipe uh, animation. I can go to force, add a new turbulence, change to one, change the frequency, and as you can see, really great simulation, really great pipe simulation. It's really cool to use discretize to create this effect so really simply. Okay. But we have a problem here. The angles are really bad. So to fix the problem, just go to type spline and go to interpolation and step, step to zero. And when the step is to zero, you can see the edge are really, really sharp. It's really better. I can now Activate my shape and uh, maybe we'll play with material. So I have two material. I can uh, select a material and apply it uh, to my spline and another to my tight flow to have uh, one material for the particle and one material for the spline. It could be cool for an animation. Yeah, it's beautiful like this. You can uh, also add a random color in, uh, in your spline if you want. You just have to create a material ID and select uh, random, air random, and set the random uh, max you want, maybe three, because I create a material subject, subject with three material. I just have to select my tie spline and apply to the spline. And now we have spline with three different color randomly. You can change the color in live, really to have the result you want for your final render. It's really cool effect, as you can see. You can play with the limiter too. As we can see, we have a limiter on the, on the z-axis. It works too, it's really good, it's really cool. I can uh, set the z-axis to zero, zero if I want a really flat, really flat effect. Uh, I just set the original uh, value here for the for the y-axis, just passed, okay. And uh, I will change the angle step to 45. And now I have a beautiful computer circuit animation. It's the way, it's the method to create a beautiful circuit animation. And what I want to do now is to reveal a, a text, a shape inside my circuit. So I will go to uh, my uh, position object delete my sphere and select a text I created. I picked my text here and now uh, the particles are created from my text. I just have to go to the surface test, delete the sphere, pick the test and select volume inside, volume inside. And when I activate the surface test, we will see the circuit animation is created, but the text is revealed. It's a really cool method to reveal text inside particle. You can change the frequency to have a different effect. Well, you just have now to play with the setting, play with the force to have the effect you want. Okay, we saw a different way of playing with a spline to create very cool effect. Now it's up to you to test and play with your parameter setting to get the effect you want.
That's all for this tutorial. If you like, don't hesitate to leave a thumb up and a comment. See you soon. Bye.